Okay, pizza review time. Um, and I know what people are going to say. Hey, Dave, this doesn't look like a pizza. Well, guess what? It's not. It's not a pizza. Today's a special one. Um, Giacomo's. What's Giacomo's? Hey, do pizza, do pizza. Everyone just chill out. I know it's a pizza review. Open your ears. Learn a little lesson about loyalty and staying true to who you are. Giacomo's. Now, before I tell this story, I want to give a quick shout out. Carlos. Remember that pizza review I did in Atlanta? The Accardi family? I said it was awesome and we changed lives. 20,000 pizzas. They sold 20,000 pizzas. Frozen pizzas. Um, I don't want to get like mushy. People think I have a black heart, but let's get mushy. That's fucking awesome. They're writing back these notes like, thank God for the Portnoy effect. Uh, hopefully we get you your pizza soon. We're making these pizzas as fast as we can, but he changed our family and our business during Corona, all this. So, you know, that's pretty fucking awesome from this pizza review thing. And it's not just me. It's everyone who watches it. Everyone goes out and tries the pizza. It's a cool thing to be part of. So thank you. Thank me. Thank the Cardi family. Thank everybody. Pizza, man. Pizza's love. Now onto this. It kind of parlays. Giacomo's. When I lived in Boston, favorite restaurant in the world. Favorite Italian restaurant to this day in the world. I fucking love it. Put on so much weight, but that's besides the point. When I started Barstool, I was like, I'm going to do restaurant reviews, you know, blah, blah, blah. The first restaurant, first issue, I reviewed Giacomo's because it's my favorite restaurant in the world. Little did I know that we didn't do restaurant reviews. Barstool, nobody knew what it was for years. Well, the guy who owned it, Richie, had a copy of the review in the newspaper sitting in his restaurant. I went in one day and I saw it. I'm like, holy shit, my favorite restaurant has the newspaper. Keep in mind, nobody knew what it was. It was like a four page black and white newspaper, looked like a crack addict would hand it out. And he had the paper sitting there. I didn't even want to tell him, I was like, I, I wrote that. Long story short, we became really good friends. I lived down the street. Never charge me. I must put on 200 pounds. I'd order garlic bread, goat cheese gnocchi, uh, fried Diablo mussels, uh, fried mozzarella. Whenever my parents were in town, we'd go. My father would say, I can't hear. I can't hear. Well, Richie hits me up. He's like, Corona, we're struggling, this, that, um, like everybody else. But if you want to give us a shout out, that would be appreciated. I said, Richie, Send the fucking goat cheese gnocchi, my favorite fucking meal. I know goat cheese doesn't taste like it. Send me the goat cheese gnocchi. Send me the fucking meal. I'll replace it with the pizza review and tell people, now pay very close attention. And by the way, he doesn't know how to fucking ship shit, so you can't order. You got to live in the area. And it's the Melrose Giacomo's in the public kitchen in Wakefield. If you mention Barstool, mention Stooley, mention my name, be like that fucking super handsome guy. They'll give you 5% off um, your order, all right, for takeout. And I think anchovies in the South End and uh, Ponzo is opening next Wednesday. But Giacomo's and Melrose, the goat cheese gnocchi, the best dish ever made. Order. If you're in Melrose, Mass, order it. Anyways, calls me up, ships me the shit, Caesar salad all over the cooler. He doesn't know how to ship it. Sent me some garlic bread as well, which I'll put in. But here it is. The goat, this goat cheese gnocchi is the goat Italian. I'm telling you, it's my favorite meal I've ever had. So Richie took care of me for no reason when nobody knew who the fuck I was. He's like, just kept giving me free meals. By the way, impossible to get tables there. And he just snapped his fingers. Like, I remember Peter King waiting outside in fucking 10 degree weather. And I'm inside like, hey, dickhead, look who got a table. Again, it's he's at the Melrose location. They have a bunch. Richie, my guy, is the Melrose location. Call up. Go cheese knocky. Get the garlic. Just get it. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Mmm. I haven't had this in so fucking long. Even in the microwave. It's so fucking good. I don't give 10s. I don't give 10s. It's a 9-9. Nine, nine. Giacomo's Melrose. 5% off. They ate pizza, pizza. Shut up. This guy was awesome to me. He has the best Italian food in the world. Melrose, Giacomo's, goat cheese gnocchi. 5% off if you mention my name. Or Public Kitchen Wakefield. Never been there. All right. I'm telling you. And by the way, I'm not just saying it. Anybody go go Google Giacomo's and Dave Portnoy. It's my favorite fucking Italian restaurant in the city. I almost fucking killed myself when Giacomo won the Kentucky Derby and I did bet on it. It was a gray and Giacomo. I don't know what I was thinking. It's a review. Richie, tell, tell Richie Dave sent you. I also told the uh, 
Lemoncello store the other day. So we became friends with him. He had Lemoncello in his basement. He had fucking lemons hanging from the ceiling for like 10 years. And then drip by drip filling up like old Italian style, filling, filling up a Lemoncello bottle. He breaks it out for me. He's like, here you go. Here's this Lemoncello that's been being made for like 10 years. Pours it. I fucking hated it. When he turned around, I poured it into the water bottle and pretended I drank it all. I'm like, that was awesome. 